fine. I would I would bet a, a lot of money you can find all this information online too. Here is one more section. Let's go. So for me, a day in the park starts before I even leave my house. I'm going to show you how I personally prepare for a warm summer day, May through October. Hi, you girl. Is heading to 
course I'm going to recommend to you to go meet Donald Duck in the back of the park in the new Fantasyland section over by Storybook Circus. Um, meeting, I personally would not meet Mickey at Town Square Theater. I don't like that meet and greet anymore. There's not a live photo pass person there. I would perhaps meet Mickey somewhere else. That's just, I don't know, that's a personal preference. If you want to meet Mickey, and that's your only shot, absolutely do it. But cavalcades and parades are a great way to see a lot of characters at once without waiting. Alright, this is a, a personal note, but if you have been on this channel for a while, you may know that I used to be a Walt Disney World cast member, and I know that I've talked before about the casting door on Main Street, where cast members often take their picture when they get their name tag, or their one, two, three, fifty year service anniversary. So, um, yeah, I put in just a quick little snippet of me at the casting door, showing it some love, because every time I walk by it, I just... my heart flutters. <laughs> Continuing on a little bit forward, but bearing to the left, you're going to be walking into Adventureland. Now, one of my favorite things, and I can't tell you exactly why this is, but is this like space in between the Crystal Palace and like the beginning of Adventureland, where it overlooks the water. Also, hot tip, if you're there and you think of it, it like 90 if not more percent of the time smells like green peppers it's a, it's a it's a long story but it's like a florida native plant or something but it always smells like green peppers um i get that same smell when i go to pandora in animal kingdom so let me know if you've ever been there and you've smelled that smell or if you go there keep your keep your goody your goody open and smell for the green peppers. But we are about to head into Adventureland to do some of my favorite things. My number one favorite thing to do is Pirates of the Caribbean. I love that ride. It's a Disney classic. It's a Disney must do. But if for some reason you cannot get on the ride, the ride is down. There are no more lightning lanes. Um, the wait is way too long, so on and so forth. Don't worry, I got your back. You can still pick up a serious Pirates of the Caribbean vibe in their gift store. The gift store is outdoors, but covered. It smells just like the ride. And if you know, you know. It has that Florida chlorine water smell, and it is just pumping out by the gallon in that gift store. 
salmon, the green beans, and the rice. Delicious, 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 delicious. My husband gets the hail to the leaf salad, which he raves about. The dressing is really, really good. They do have some more seafood options there, if that's your vibe. If not, don't worry, they still have like chicken fingers and fries, etc. Would highly recommend eating there, especially if you're looking to do like a lighter fare or a healthier option that isn't a burger, hot dog, chicken nuggets, which obviously I'm on board with, but <laughs> okay. So I'm showing you that's Columbia Harbor House where we just were. Across the way is the Haunted Mansion, Momo. and they look over and they wave to you and 
if your back is to the castle and you're walking out, walking down Main Street towards the entrance slash exit, the Main Street Ice Cream Parlor is phenomenal. So good. There is nowhere to eat inside, but I highly recommend doing what my husband and I do. And as once you leave, keep walking down Main Street towards the entrance. And on the left hand side, you're going to see a little half street. And that is called Center Street. There are some seats down there. And that also happens to be where my husband proposed to me. <laughs> then the last stop, the last stop on the left hand side of Main Street, the last, like, uh, last hurrah to get your sugar fix is, of course, the confectionery. Now, like I said, some of the stuff in the back in Storybook Circus is the same. But as you can see in these case lines, it's not identical. You're still going to find some candy apples, etc. 